Hi guys, some of you requested a video on building custom indicators in CTrader. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple indicator to identify engulfing candles. And I'll be showing you how to draw arrows on the chart when these candles are formed. I'm sure most of you already know what an engulfing candle is. And it's basically a candle with a higher high and a higher low than the previous bar. So let's head over to the indicator section now and we'll create a new indicator called engulfing candle. All of the calculations for the indicator goes into the calculate section. So here we can just put if bars.highprices, square brackets index, which refers to the current bar of the calculation, is greater than bars.highprices, square brackets index minus one for the previous bar. And also we want the low of the current bar to be less than the low of the previous bar. When those conditions are satisfied, we'll set the result of the current bar equal to 1. Else, we'll set the result to 0. Now we can build it. And we get two errors because we need to set the result of the current index to 1 and 0. Now it builds successfully and let's see how it looks on our chart. And we just get a simple line chart with spikes on the days that the engulfing candles occur. But we probably want to differentiate between bullish engulfing candles and bearish engulfing candles. So let me show you how to do that. Let's go back to the code and I'm going to create a variable called engulfing. And I'm just going to copy this logic that we've already coded. Now I can just say if engulfing result equal to 1, which makes the code cleaner and easier to read. And we can check that it gives us the same result. Now let's create a variable for up bar, which is when the close price is greater than the open price. And we'll also do the same and create a variable for down bar. Now to identify bullish engulfing candles, we just have to say if engulfing and up bar, set the result equal to 1. Else if engulfing and down bar, set the result to negative 1. Let's double check to make sure that worked. And now we can also see the bearish engulfing candles with the down spikes. Okay, now let me show you how to draw the arrows on the chart when these candles occur. We just want to say if result equals 1. We'll use chart.drawIcon. The first parameter is string name and we'll just use index.toString. Then we can set the chart icon type to up arrow. We'll set the time to index. For the position of the arrow, we're just going to set it at the low price, minus 20 pips. And we'll set the color to green. 
Let's build it to check that it works. And now we have the green arrows pointing to the bullish engulfing candles. So I can delete these ones that I manually drew earlier. Let's just quickly finish the indicator off to draw the down arrows for the bearish engulfing candles. So I just need to say else if result equals negative one. Change the icon type to a down arrow. We want the location to be 20 pips above the high price and we'll change the color to red. Whoops, looks like we're still using the low price. So let's change that to a high price. And there you have it. We just created our first custom indicator from scratch. Please hit the like button if you found this useful. And feel free to leave any comments or questions below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.